Okay. Okay. Bedroom doors latched. Yep. All door latched. Yep. Refrigerator checked and latched. Yep. Dinner is defro defrosted and planned. Yes. We got uh, chili and hot dogs. Chili and hot dogs because we're probably going down again. Uh, bedroom slide is in. Yes. Drawers secure, chair, fan, football. All secure. Bathroom secure. Yes. Shower door latched. Yes. Fred secure. Fred is happy in his sink. Mike Microwave secure. Yep. Water, water jug. Yes. Coffee maker I put away. Kitchen cabinets, pantry. Yes. Living room cabinets. Yes. Uh, those are up there. Fuel levels, we're at three quarters and we're at full on depth. Okay. Navigation is set and agreed. Madison, you're secure and you have water. Tank levels we looked at. Wi-Fi Ranger, we never put it up, so that should be good. The awning is secure. Now we have do we have a stop time? Like four o'clock. Destination? Yes. Okay. And you got a timer set for the Honda? No. I will do that now. Okay. Good deal. Ready to go? Okay. Start the truck. Maddie, you ready to go? Retract the jacks. So what we do is Mark pulls the camper out and then I pull the Honda up behind as he hooks up. We actually tow a 2018 Honda Pilot, which is not suggested that you tow according to the Honda Corporation, but because the transmission is the same as the 2015, we figured it would be okay. So what are you doing, Mark? Hooking up the car. Now do all the pins. Is the electrical connection for the braking lights. the towing breakaway cable. What does that do? It pulls a little pin out here if the car gets disconnected and automatically sets the brake. This is the airline. Why do we have an airline? This connects the this connects the air brake system on the truck to the uh, sensor and the air brake system on the car. When I step on the brakes on the camper, it applies the brake in the car. So, look at this. You're going to back up. That's backing up the truck to take up the slack on the tow bar. She's watching me. I'm giving her a hand signal. And that's good. So now we're all hooked up, ready to go. Uh, the only thing we have to do now is check that everything works. Beth, have you ran through the gears yet on the car? I'm in low right now. Okay. And what we do is, what are you doing? Well, you have to run the uh, car through all four gears. So you start with reverse for two minutes, then low for two minutes, then drive for two minutes, and then you put it in neutral for towing. And you do that so that the transmission gets well lubricated before you drive down the road. And then we set a timer on our phones for three hours because in three hours we have to do it all over again. So when we're traveling down the road, the car has to be in neutral and it has to be off. And it beeps at you and tells you that it's off, which is okay. It's a shift to park. That's what you want to see because you want the car in neutral as it's going down the street.
good? Everything's good. Good. So after setting up all the brakes, uh, doing all the hookups and everything, we're on the road. We're heading to uh, Mobile, Alabama and on to Birmingham. It's kind of a typical day, did you say about? Yeah. Pretty much. And we, we're on the road by 9.30 a.m. Which is good for us. That's where Maddie sits. Yeah, 9.30, 9.30 is good. 9.30 is good. 9.30 is better than 10 o'clock. Yep. Uh, we're kind of hoping to shave a little time off our trip so we can arrive at our destination a little bit earlier. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we're just looking at a typical interstate. Come on. 